all over the place. So he would love to add a Players' Championship trophy to his resume. Of course, he hasn't done so yet. His best finish was a tie for fourth all the way back in 2014, Aaron. It's uh, remarkable, actually, that he hasn't amazingly improved on that since then, given the caliber of player he is. But we all know what, what happened. He, he had a bit of a slump for, for a couple of years. Did finish second at Pebble earlier this season, but hasn't played, actually, on the PGA Tour since Riviera a couple of weeks ago. So should be coming in fresh this week. It, it definitely coming in fresh, for sure. But, again, the game just kind of beguiling who's going to show up this week you know kind of will the real Jordan Spieth please stand up and and is that game back to a certain extent I don't believe that this is the place that he can find something quite honestly his record here is not good it's it's seven starts it's four missed cuts in the seven starts and if you're not hitting your golf ball with a semblance of control and you still have a big miss potential big miss in you this place, you're going to make doubles and triples in, in a hurry, and, and he has around here, and hence why he's struggled around this place is you've got to be so spot on. you you got to keep it between the tree lines, number one, off the, off the tee. You can hit it in the rough fine, but you got to keep it between the tree lines. And then you got to hit your irons really well after that. So it, it, those are two things that he has struggled with mightily over the last couple of years, and and unfortunately, right now, the putter's been a little cold for him this year, even though he finished second at Pebble. Well, he's only made half of, or less than half, I should say, Rolf, of his cuts here, three out of previous seven starts. Do you think his game is suited to success at this golf course? Well, the interesting thing about this golf course is it doesn't really favor any style of player. We've seen all different ages and, and types of players have won here. Uh, the real difference uh, I see is the way players tend to prepare mentally for this thing. There are players that will play both events in the Florida swing, which has become the hardest golf on the PGA Tour. You go through the West Coast now, and it's all... Um, you know, fairly low scoring, and then you get to Florida, and it is so hard at both the Honda Classic and Bay Hill that some players play through it, other players decide not to. So Jordan did not play the last two weeks. I think mentally uh, he wanted to be totally fresh coming in here. Um, and, and the other thing about this championship, I talked about the evolution of the players and, and how the participants are the ones that have elevated. The golf course itself has really changed and grown up because when we first started coming here, it was nothing but hard. And there were a lot of complaints and uh, it has really matured into a wonderful test of golf, one of the best in the world. Yeah, I think he's getting quite closer to you know, Aaron mentioned the big miss. Well, the miss isn't quite as big as it used to be. If you look at his strokes gained off the tee, he was 45th on tour this year. You go back the last three seasons, he was 135th, 165th, and 176th, which is not a recipe for success on this golf course. But there is no category or metric for strokes gained intangibles. And nobody in this game is better at winning ugly when things are going sideways than Jordan Spieth. He did it at Chambers Bay. He won from the driving range at Royal Birkdale in the Open Championship as well. So he's a guy who's, from the neck up, he still seems remarkably solid. And certainly over these closing three holes come Sunday afternoon, that's a, that's a test for him. Every hole out here has a bail area, but that bail area is very small. And he needs to find that bail area this week if he's gonna have success off the tee. Because there's trouble, as Rolf, you know, and I know, there's trouble on both sides on every hole. Some, some's worse than others, but if you get going if you get going wide really quickly, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very short week. It's a very short, painful week here, and, and you'll be down the road very I guess quickly. toss-up, Rolf, between taking that mental break like Jordan has or, or getting down to the Sunshine State earlier and, and getting used to Florida golf again. Yeah, it's a, a different thought process, and, and I totally agree with both these guys. He needs to find one side of the hole that's a safe side of the hole for him. You look at what Daniel Berger did at Honda. Now, he didn't win. He had a horrible Sunday final round. But he's changed his game totally. Came out as a big hitter, but now he's eliminated the left-hand side of the golf course, and he has become very reliable. Jordan Spieth needs to become a little more reliable in terms of where he's going to miss. Okay, while well, Jordan is hard at work, when we come back, we'll dive into the potential threat of a tricky weather forecast this week.